And that is going to be Unleashed versus Girly Team Queen. Man, that is extraordinaire. This is interesting, too. Both characters. Oh, my goodness. Dead off the bottom here, too. Bayotax being played. You fly too close to the sun. You might just get burnt. It seems to be what happened there. Unleashed definitely going to take that one to the bank, especially down a game already. Okay, still working it out. And the thing is with Bayonetta, she's always been so elusive, so kind of slippery here. But the thing is with Sora is that Sora is also slippery in his own way. That it just makes it annoying sometimes to combo. But if you're able to kind of be like Bayonetta and get those witch twists and those up airs, the socks will come up eventually. 100%. Nair down here too, looking for a ledge drop option. A lot of Sora's love to do that ledge release into jump up air, stuff like that but Unleashed seems to be standing so tall in the pocket in this corner. 
Down at ABK on to shield. I mean, the jump out, this is just simple stuff, simple punishes we are finding. Yeah, if I'm girly team queen, I'm, I'm okay, but Unleashed definitely playing uh, well enough to be up a whole stock and some too. Great carry, but now we have to find a way to get this stock. Now, granted, uh, Sora does have some strong aerials here, but Bayonetta, you give her more time, she's going to start scaling too. Up B just straight out of block will be enough to take the stock at this point. No aerial needed as we fade that up there perfectly on shield. Three stock to one lead here too. It is fragile, but I mean, this is something you dream of in sets like this. Yeah, and the thing is, if I'm unleashed, I'm pretty comfortable, right? I have yeah. three stocks to Bayonetta's one. Um, I have a little bit of rage to work with as well. And honestly, Unleashed still one of the only like tried and true Sora mains that we have left in North America and quite possibly the world, right? I mean, we have DTP in Philly, uh, but Unleashed has been playing this character for a long time. The up smash doesn't connect, but the up tilt back air will. Letting the bullet sing from mid-stage, not going to find any of those two hit. Up tilt, back air, will find our first stock on our journey of a thousand miles to take this one home. But girly Teen Queen has a ton of work to do. What's the get-up option? Love the Hezzy! The step back was sick from Unleashed. Did you call it the Hezzy? The Hezzy, yes. Yeah, hez like, Come on now. <laughs> I'm stealing that, the Hezzy. <laughs> Still, though, I mean, uh, Girly T Queen, formerly known as Tay Juice, uh, finding a lot of these aerial options that feel good. But now Unleashed wants this up smash so bad, but I don't think Girly T Queen is going to give them it at all. These conversions in the air are going quite well, though. Unleashed has had to play out of the corner a lot, and we have seen Girly T Queen play the best around Sora's many options. But what?
Taking it easy. Um, Bang. So, this is also, once again, just a really good set. Girly Teen Queen, though, up in the lead right Chat now. Chat see. Chat wants B. All right, Chat wants B. All right, final stock over here. Uh, and now all really girl T Queen needs to do is hit this up smash. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We're staying on, on B. We're staying no, on no, B. No, no, it says unleash. It says unleash. Yeah, but that's we're on unleash. This is B. Oh, okay. All right, we're yeah, staying. We're good. I can't do this. We're going to C. 